this video, we check out the best eats over at Allegiant Stadium for the Monday night opener for the Las Vegas Raiders. Next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today is a very special day. It is the first Monday night game over at Allegiant Stadium where they're allowing fans in. And we're gonna go and check out the best eats around the Raiders game and all the best stuff you can do over in Las Vegas during Raider week. So I'm here with my Aden Clark. Yo, what's up, Jaycationers? And we're gonna go check out some of the grub, tell you a little bit about the game experience, what you need to do with your vaccination card through the Clear app, and also check out the official hotel, the M Hotel, and the Raiders Tavern and Grill over at the M. Yes. So let's go inside and check it out. That's me. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Hey, what's up? How are you? Big fan, man. Big fan. Thank you. Holy crap. Raider fans recognize Jay Cation. It was the most awesome thing I've ever seen. In order to enter Allegiant Stadium, you have to adhere to the NFL's clear bag policy Check out the Allegiant Stadium website for more details on what bags you can bring into the stadium. You also have to have proof of vaccination to enter and either show it through the Clear app or bring the physical card itself. All right, educationers, we just got in. Make sure you have your Clear app and all your stuff downloaded because they're going to check that on the way in. We are here at the Raider Image now, right in front of Allegiant Stadium. We're going to go to our seats. What seats are we? We are in section 129. Nice. Up close and personal, Field baby. Level, baby. Raiders. Let's go. Raiders. You hungry? Oh, I'm hungry. You hungry? Let's go check out the Allegiant Stadium Eats. Nice. Let's do it for you. Specialty drinks here, the Argarita, get it? Ar. Oh! Alright, Jake Asianers just got to our seats. Section 129, this is amazing. We got some rally towels and a little wristband that's probably gonna light up later on at halftime. Yeah. Let's go get some food. Let's go. First stop is gonna be Poo Poo Burger. And Odding is gonna grab it. Looks good, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. the Fuku Burger. Nice. So what do you expect here at game day? It's gonna go banana! Oh. Let's go Raiders! Alright, thank you. What's up, Jay Cationers? So we got the Fuku Burger right here behind me. We're in the section 129-128 area of Allegiant Stadium. I've never had a Fuku Burger before. It's gonna be my first time. It looks like a buttered bun. Tomato, some onions, pickle, lettuce, and I know they have something here called the the fuku sauce, and it, it's probably drizzled in here somewhere. But let's try it out. It's a pretty good burger. I taste the sauce. It's very subtle. It has like a like an Asian type of a zing to it. I like it. It's really good. What I really enjoy the most is the pickled onion part. It's a nice counter to the sauce. So overall solid burger, eight and a half out of 10 for sure. Even the Raider water has just wind baby on the inside of the bottle. That's awesome. Attention to details guys. So there are actually over 30 local Las Vegas businesses that have food within Allegiant Stadium. And we're gonna try out a handful of them. I've also already have reviewed a few places like Rick's Rollin' Barbecue. They actually have some food over here as well. Capriotti's, I haven't tried it yet, but there is a Capriotti's here. And a few other Las Vegas spots like Evil Pie, which has some great pizza. So I'm excited to try more food. They even have a Twitch lounge over here. Wrong app. Shout out to YouTube. Next up, I'm picking up the carne asada torta. Yeah. Some tortilla let's go. chips. I'm excited to try it out. They also have loaded asada fries, roasted garlic, and jalapeno sausage, and a Raider dog, and it's only seven bucks. I like that. All right, let's go. So we just got the carne asada torta. I'm here with Clark at the 1960 bar. They have yeah. really cool themed drinks. They have a purple haze, they have a silver and black margarita and they have a drink called the Chucky. So oh, yeah. there's a ton of Raider themed drinks and the prices aren't bad. It's like 18 bucks for yeah, the silver and black margarita. Yeah. That's like club prices. Yeah, I like it. We're gonna try out the carne asada torta with tortilla chips. Oh, I'm feeling this. Great people with the gallo, carne asada's on point. 
nice guacamole. He's gonna fill me up. I haven't eaten yet today. Perfect. So how's day one going for you? Doing great. Doing good so far? Good, baby. That's looking good, man. Yes, please. Purple haze. Perfect, man. Thank you so much. Try out this purple haze, 18 bucks from the 1960s bar. Ooh, you got that purple. Purple haze has gin, a lemon sour, and soda water. And they mix it up real nice right in front of you. It's that purple yerple drink. It's a purple yerple? That's good. This is gonna hit the spot. Mm. So they also have other drinks like the Chucky, Silver and Black Margarita, Bloody Fist, Bloody Marys. They have a few Las Vegas places. Uh, for beer. Another thing that I've noticed here is that they're playing some absolute bangers. They are. The whole time we've been here, the music they've been playing has been just banger after banger after banger. So legit. The whole experience at Allegiant is just a hundred so far. A hundred, hundred, hundred. This might be the best stadium in the NFL, guys. Yeah. No shade. The way they incorporate local eats here as well, I'm freaking pumped up about this place. Can't wait to watch more here in the future. This carne asada torta is on fire. So good. 18 bucks. So right in front of me is the wind club where you can go on the end zone and it's like a luxury suite. You can get table service and just hang out there. Yeah. A lot of beautiful ladies around there too. Oh yeah, it's legit. Look at that. Good stuff. So many of you in the comments are probably asking, what's the best way to get to Allegiant Stadium from the Las Vegas Strip? Well, this is how me and Clark got there via the monorail and the free tram from Excalibur to Mandalay Bay. So for this trip, Clark and I are staying over at the Link. Yeah. And in order to get to Allegiant Stadium, we want to walk across over where Mandalay Bay is. So we're going to take the monorail over to MGM Grand from Harris and then cross over to Excalibur and then try to get over to Luxor or Mandalay Bay and get over to the stadium from there. All right, Jake Nationers, so to take the Las Vegas monorail, it's $5 per person for a one-way and $13 for 24 hours. So like I said, the monorail only takes you to MGM Grand, so we're going to have to cross over to Excalibur and hit the monorail there to get to Mandalay Bay and then get to Allegiant Stadium. Monorails are currently arriving every nine minutes. Next stop is Flamingo Caesars Palace Station. Please allow the passengers to exit Flamingo Caesars Palace Station. Oh. From MGM, you have to cross the bridge over to New York, New York, then New York, New York, over to Excalibur. Take the free tram, go over to Luxor or Mandalay Bay, and then we're gonna get over to the stadium. Walking into Allegiant Stadium from the Las Vegas Strip is probably your best bet as parking over at Allegiant Stadium costs anywhere from 80 to over $100. Now, if you park over at the casinos, I think they raise the prices over in Mandalay Bay for the day. But if you park within the Strip and walk in, you should be paying a cheaper price. We just took the free tram from Excalibur to Mandalay Bay. Now I want to show Clark the Raider image that they have here in Mandalay Place. While I take the escalator, Clark takes the stairs. That's because he didn't get his workout in today, and I'm just lazy. <laughs> this is silver and black heaven. I couldn't be happier right now. What would you on, buy if you were to buy something right now? I'll probably get a Woodson, and I'll probably get a, um, because I sold all of them since I lost weight. I'd get a new Woodson and probably a Black Jacobs. Shout out to Jacobs Filipino. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Talk about that. Filipino, Josh Jacobs. If none of you knew, now you know. Josh Jacobs is Filipino. The outdoor stadium walkway is off of Mandalay Bay Boulevard. You cross over the 15 freeway and uh, you get over to the Allegiant Stadium. Adding, what do you think about this uh, experience walking to Allegiant Stadium? So I love it. It's like you're walking to the Death Star. The only downside is it's hot right now, but with, when it's October, November, and the temperatures are like in the 70s, 80s, it's going to be legit. Yeah. yeah. Right now it's 100 and freaking yeah. five. Right. Okay, look. Right now, 102. But look at Woo! this. They have water stations over here. Yeah, this is cool. To keep you hydrated. They should yeah. be beer stations, actually. Yeah, actually they should be beer stations. <laughs> <laughs> I want a perfect picture of the Death Star, AKA Allegiant Stadium, Death while Star, walking baby. over. Go Raiders! Let's go! That's the base of the uh, 
Al Davis uh, commemorative torch. The torch. And they'll light it before the game. Yeah. For OZL's going to Allegiant Stadium for the first time, I suggest that you check out the A to Z guide online. They tell you all the concessions and all the details you need to know about attending this game. Just like at Petco Park, they have an Ever Bowl over here, so if you want a healthy option, they got acai bowls over here. So on one side of the stadium is the Twitch Lounge, and then over here you got the Modelo Cantina Club. We're just taking a nice little round trip around the stadium, checking out all the concessions and just enjoying Raider Nation. I like all the walls around here because they're like filled with Vegas history, stuff with Elvis, how the stadium was built, pretty cool. So they also have Rick's Rollin' Smoke Barbecue, which you've seen on my YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description box below. Clark and Pia were actually in that video as well, so yeah. go check it out after this one. Oh yeah, let's go. Rick's Rollin' Smoke Barbecue, best in Vegas, baby. where you can pick up a bunch of cocktails and beers. Now, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing to Jaycation as I have plenty of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world content. Go Raiders! After round two for drinks, Hiding, you're gonna get a seltzer, a local Vegas seltzer, yes. and I'll get a local Vegas beer. Let's do it. All right, Jake Asianer, so I got the Hop Valley Cairo Stash. This is an IPA. Oh yeah, this is very citrusy. The hops are really nice on this. That's a good beer. And Adin got a busy hard seltzer. What's up? Cheers, Jake Asianers. Cheers, brother Raiders. Let's go Raiders. Since I love Rick's Roll and Smoke Barbecue so much, I gotta try something out here at the stadium. Show them some love. Rick's Roll of Smoke Barbecue. This is a smoked brisket. It was a lot smaller than what you would get at the actual locations, but hey, you're at the stadium. That meat is soft. The barbecue sauce is on point. The bread, wow. That is some good stuff. Roll and Smoke Barbecue. Best in Vegas, guys. So good. All right, Jake Asianers, we're here at the Jack Daniels Bar. Now, Rick's Roll and Smoke Barbecue was amazing. So, I want you to comment down below the final score of this game against the Raiders versus the Ravens, and I will send somebody randomly that got the final score correctly this sticker. So comment down below the final score. Seltzer. What are you getting right now in line? Oh, I'm gonna get a karaoke steak skewers. I got the Chucky. You know, shout out to uh, our head coach, Mr. John Gruden, Chucky himself. This is, this has ginger in it. Oh, that's tasty. Ginger and Jack. Ooh, yeah. This is good stuff right here. 18 bucks. You know, Allegiant Stadium has really decently priced drinks and food especially for being in vegas that's that's pretty good wow i'm impressed by uh Allegiant stadium right now so cheers guys looking at the menu right here at pacha mama's they have a teriyaki steak skewer a paella skewer and a chicken jerk skewer and they actually have the paella rice over here it's pretty good what did you get i got the teriyaki skewer
skewers comes with teriyaki beef and then cilantro lime rice. Can't wait to eat this. Yeah. This is good. This is legit. Highly recommend. Meat is cooked perfectly. I'm going to teriyaki skewer perfectly. I just wish there was more meat. That'd be my only criticism of this. That's what she didn't say. That's what she didn't say. I was. Oh, yeah. If you are a diehard Raider fan, it is a definite must that you stop by the M Hotel, which is the official hotel of the Las Vegas Raiders, and check out the Raiders Tavern and Grill for some dinner, maybe the night before or the night after. All right, Jaycationers, we're here at Raiders Tavern and Grill. Let's go inside and try it out for dinner. We're here at the Raiders Tavern and Grill at the M Resort. It's the Raider headquarters. Now I got the Hop Valley Mango Stash. Uh, this, I love mango. This is my second mango beer today. It's all right, it's not bad. Me and Clark are here, we're excited. It's the night before Monday Night Football at Allegiant Stadium. And this is just one of your options for a Raider game to go yeah. check out. Raiders Tavern and Grill, what do you think, Patty? I'm so excited because this is the way you want to start off football weekend for the first Raider game. You come to the Raiders Tavern and Grill. Look at that. And what a way to add to this video where we're eating food over at Allegiant Stadium and we're showing you a little meal at the actual Tavern and Grill. So. Hell yeah. Let's do right. this. Bon appetit. What's up, JK Schner? So we got the prime rib sandwich here at the Raiders Tavern and Grill. Look at that. Got the al jus sauce. With the al jus sauce. Side of pickles here. Let's do this. And I love prime rib sandwiches, so let's do this. Oh yeah. That's good. Prime rib sandwiches are all about the meat and the bun soaking up the au jus. This is perfect. It's balanced. The meat is cooked well. They use the right cheese. My guess is this is uh, maybe like a provolone. Yeah, provolone. Yeah, provolone. It's good. Highly recommend this if you ever come here. So we got the bison burger right here. Got it done medium, pepper jack cheese on a nice bun, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, threw some ketchup on it. Cheers. That's a pretty solid bison burger, yeah. Hell yeah. For 13 bucks, this is the spot. Really cool spot to watch some games here. Go Raiders, Raider Nation, just win, baby. I'm gonna enjoy this bison burger. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm. So that was Raiders Tavern and Grill here at the M Resort in Henderson. That was great. Oh yeah. Now let's flash forward back to ourselves on Monday Night Football at Allegiant uh, Stadium. For the next night, week. baby. Just win, baby. Raider Nation, let's go. So it's 14-7 right now, Ravens. Two minute warning, almost halftime. We're having a great time here. This atmosphere in Vegas is amazing. You definitely gotta check out Allegiant Stadium. I will go as far as saying, it's the best NFL stadium I've ever seen. Amazing. And the food, with the local touch, it's very reminiscent of Petco Park in San Diego. So, it's the football version of Petco Park. You can do it with your back into it. You can do it with your back into it. We got barbecue Mexicana. This is the chicken avocado. It's got black beans. It's got Mexican rice. Try it out. That is the spot, guys. Wow. The marinade on this chicken is on point. This is good. The avocado, you can taste it. Oh, man. Now back to the burrito. Good. Good. A good ratio of rice to meat. Avocado, Before they stop serving alcohol here in the third quarter, I'm gonna try out Big Dog's Las Vegas Craft Lager. So let's pick that up, try it out. Raiders are losing right now, 14 to 10. Appreciate it, brother. Alright, so they tapped out of that uh, Vegas lager, so they gave me a silver and black margarita for the Vegas lager price. So thank you, silver and black margarita, $18 value. That is strong, good stuff. Man, 
Allegiant Stadium, you're amazing me so far. Wow. Shano, what up, bro? Woo! Sin City, baby. What's up, dude? What's up, JJ? How you doing, buddy? Wow. So this game is tied going into overtime, 27 all. They also had a pizza rock, but I couldn't find a pizza rock. So just so you guys know, there's a pizza rock here. Thank you.